All right. Uh, I've got one more question, and it is a young lady's turn right there. I know you had your hand up earlier. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait for the mic. My name is Cynthia Ross Friedhoff, and um, I'm a small business owner. We have a restaurant that we, my father started in the 1940s. What, 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 uh, what, what's, uh, what's your best dish? Uh, Magic Mountain, we're known for. We've been in Sports <laughs> Illustrated. Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain. What, what, is, what is a Magic Mountain? <laughs> a Magic Mountain is Texas toast grilled. Loose Rosberger meat, which is like made right, maybe you know what made yeah, right yeah, are. I, I, I made right made meat right. on top yeah, of that. So. My dad started with a made right originally. Right. Then hash browns, French fries, a cheddar cheese sauce poured over the top. Woo! And you can also get a volcano, which includes our chili, which we soak the beans 24 hours, cut the jalapenos up, and that's a volcano. But anyway. And 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 then uh, and then you have the uh, the uh, the acid. Uh, <laughs> fall on right up there? We have that on New Year's okay. Day for all the people that have been out drinking. But there anyway, you, you were supposed to have come there one year, one time, but your plane was late. We, we, well, we you were are scheduled. Going, we are going to get there, and I will order uh, the Magic Mountain. As a, and you can tell Jim Leach when you see him that his dad almost won Ross's. He was a good friend of mine, Jim Leach as well. Right. Almost won Ross's in a game on his 80th birthday, his last birthday. He tried to get me to gamble Ross's away on that, oh, at, that, that right? at his house at a party. Yeah. So there's a whole history here. There's all a whole right. history. But anyway, um, we have this small business, and I am all for you. My, my daughters, my son, I've raised these kids that are democratic, but my husband feels like small business is scary. And he, our backs are against the wall now with all these chains. My father, our small business built this country, and now my husband, I, he's, on the, for, I mean, he's on the fence, and all he right. could go your way right. with just a little bit of urging or... Let's, Something let's, that's going to help our small business. Let's call him right now. What's his phone number? Let's call him. Let's call him. Where's your phone? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. I'll answer the question, then we'll talk to him on the phone. The, uh, well, well, look, the, uh, the, the, here's, here's what we've got to do with small business. First of all, um, small business needs tax relief. So if you've got a startup business, uh, if you've got a new business, I don't want you paying taxes like capital gains. Because you need to go ahead and get started on your business. The problem is we give tax breaks to companies that, like Exxon that are making gazillions of dollars. Right? So that doesn't make sense. So that's... that's is it lunch hour? He's probably working too hard. All right. Well, you, well, I'll leave a message for him. What's his name? Ron. Ron? Okay. Hey, Ron. I've got a... Hey, Ron. Uh, y your wife told me that, that you might vote for me, but I've got to I've got to do a little work because you're concerned about whether I've got uh, good plans for small business. Well, the uh, I I know it's in the middle of lunch hour, so I don't want to interrupt you too much. But I'm going to give your wife all the answers uh, to to my questions, and and then if we need to follow up, uh, you and I can talk later. All right. Hey, how's how's lunch hour? All right, I got to try out one of these magic mountains. That's what I was told. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye bye. All right. Yeah.